Hello everybody and welcome back to the shop for another exciting episode Bob TV and HD baby okay this is what I got going it's late at night I'm just sitting out here piddling okay I got this gear door working even better what I did is I uh, put this piece of hardwood on my saw and I set my table on a 45 and I cut me off a little corner and I actually glued it on the bottom of this door right here and I beveled a sand a bevel on this door you know so they kind of hit like this now there's no way them could jam up because before I put that piece on there every now and then it they would jam up now since they can't jam up because I glued that wedge in there. And that just works awesome, man. I'm just so tickled how that came out. Look at that. Nice fit. Nice and smooth. Just amazed how that finally came out. And sitting here piddling on that all last night, all day today. Oh, when I was home. I wasn't seeing old dad, but now this other one over here. I gotta change my intro now with this HD camera, see, because it ain't 10 more minutes. I don't know how many minutes this is gonna be. But what I did now is I'm just hoping these are both the same. <laughs> I measured up and over and put my little deal right there. Ooh, and almost sanded that dude off. Put my beveled edge on that piece, and uh, I'll just take some white paint and touch them up. You can't even really see it at all on that one. Now I need to cut me one of them little corners and just put on this edge and put a beveled edge on there. So these two will meet, and there's no way this can happen. You see, where he goes at? There's no way that can happen. See, because if they turn just a little bit or something, the wedge, but if I put a wedge on both sides, that won't happen. I did it on that side, and I'm just tickled pink. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm just going for measurements, man. I put that in the same place that one is. I made me another U-bin. I don't know if you guys ever tried these U-bins or not. They work like a ball link. I, know, I do know people that use these on ailerons and everything. I, I've used them on like <laughs> steerable nose gear, but there's really, I'm going to have to drill that out, I think. No way it could, uh, they could come out, you know. And they work like a ball leak. See, instead of like a Z bend or anything like that, see, they they work like a ball link, and uh, there's just no way it can get. Seeing this thing moves back and forth, so this is the excellent place to put a U bend. Some people think them U bins are crazy, but really, if you think about it, there's uh, really no way they're coming off. Okay, this makes a difference. Which way this faces? It's got to face in. 
This hook has got to be in. I hope this just works. <laughs> That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Now I just got one of these. These things, these little plastic things just will come with them arfs. You know, but I'm just using it for that hole there. And I could screw it onto here and give me a little bit of adjustment. Because you want something that's going to slide pretty easy on that rod and ain't going to see a whole bunch of abuse. I hope not. If this door gets abused, this whole plane's going to be in bad shape. <laughs> You know what I mean? But I did, I had to go scrounging through the box, man. Get these parts. Now all I gotta do is get her adjusted. just a little longer and I gave it some extra thread didn't look like I needed to Take them washers off of there. Just like I did that other side. It'll be beautiful, man. It's gonna be beautiful. This is why I had to sand them things flat, man. These metal ball links. Or grind or I uh, file them. couple washers in here.
Bam, beautiful. It's gonna work just fantastic. Just splendidly. Yeah, I got a fun one. Little color. One of them is just a spacer, so it don't even going to be tightened to nothing. And see that U-bend, man? That's just the perfect place for that U-bend. I don't think any other way would have worked very good. Now I did something else. I uh, put a bunch of these button head screws in a piece of tape. Spray painted them with some flat right white metal primer. So on my little screws are painted. Yeah. Starting to work up a sweat. I'm gonna have to turn the dang air conditioner on in the shop. Just it further, it probably needs to go in about one more turn. Let's go to Bam, look at that. This is beautiful. Nice and smooth across there. Nothing sticking up. Works awesome. Man, I love it when a plan comes together. You know what I mean? Especially when you had some Bob O'Neill and gone bad. <laughs> now, all I gotta do is glue me a little beveled piece on there, attach it to my strut. Bam, that one's done. Did that one in just a few minutes. That's how it works two days to do one and ten minutes to do the other one. Look at that, that's just gonna work flawless every time. It is flawless. That's just beautiful. No rubber bands. <laughs> I was ready to break out the rubber bands this afternoon. <laughs> rubber band and a spacer. Don't tell me I didn't think about it. <laughs> Alright everybody. I'm going to load up this 14 minute video and sit here and piddle in the shop and you can get a decent night's sleep, so I'm going to be down in the hospital in the morning. I get home, I'll make you guys a video. Let you know what happened. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all your comments. You know you guys are like family. And uh, we'll see how good this worldwide prayer we got going works. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. You guys are the bomb. Hey, in that first movie where I talked about Dad, someone put uh, Wesley's medical center the hospital's address in uh, in the comments if anyone wants to send a card 
Don't send no flowers. Dad would be mad. <laughs> You'll find him in the hallway when he chucks them. <laughs> he likes Western novels. Them old time Billy the Kid, Oregon Trail. Big old thick book. Dad likes to read. He'll read a big old thick paperback in a couple of days. Uh, so, anyone wants to send something, that'll work. Even a card. Just let him know we're thinking about it. He'd really be tickled to get a card from New Zealand or France or Japan or Australia. He'll be in that hospital plenty of time. I mean, you got, there's time for the mail to work, so... Uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Thanks for all your support, and we'll see you back in the shop.